Okay, so let me read back what we learned into today's session so far. Although you, Mrs. Kravinsky, approve of your husband's generous spirit and do feel moved to donate yourself, the act of donating his kidney without your permission has crossed the line. You feel neglected. Is that fair? Maybe hurt? The problem is he has no cares for his family at all, and I'm sick of the hypocrisy. He takes care of everyone, but never puts us first. No matter how infinitesimal the risk to yourself, we're your family, and the recipient doesn't count. I did prevent you from danger. I prevented you from taking that woman's life. Do you hear that? My husband thinks I'm a murderer. Okay, I, I can see that there's some tension in this, with this issue. It's good that we're getting everything out in the open. Now, can we- Excuse me, uh, where's your bathroom? Can't you hold it? No, I only have one kidney. Down the hall, Mr. Korinsky. Thank you. Yeah. So, shh, it's okay, sir. I'm just a figure of your imagination, here to lead you on a path of spiritual enlightenment. What? I'm going to help you. How? Sir, in my final moments, I reached a level of enlightenment unreached by any human being ever before. Because of my unique characteristics and life experiences, I believe I am best qualified to help you on your journey to enlightenment. And I'm supposed to believe that from a man that looks about half my age and looks like he just climbed out from under a rock. I wouldn't put much stock on personal appearance. You own one thrift shop suit. How do you... That's not important. Sit. There you go. Just sit there. All right. In my final days, I realized that happiness is only real when shared. Watch out. Um, in my lifetime, I knew many good people who did not give the appreciation they deserve. You know, my one kidney friend, you are well on your way to losing everyone you hold dear. Your friends, your colleagues, your family. A sacrosanct commitment to the family is a rationalization for all manner of greed and selfishness. Your children deserve a father who can be proud of them and love them. Better than what you or I had as father. Didn't old Irving Kravinsky tell little Zell, well, you'll be nothing next year, when you came home with a prize for being best student, and my father. He was always trying to mold and shape me into what he wanted. Is that what you want for your children? To be like the man who raised you? My father and I's relationship has nothing to do with the lifestyle I am trying to lead. I'm trying to do good. I failed in the past, then I will not fail again. You're talking about your sister. She was the only person in my family who liked me in any meaningful way. My sister was great too. My parents want a bunch of imbeciles. But Karina's amazing. It isn't your fault Adria died, you know. And if you hadn't done any kidney, it wouldn't be your fault if that young woman had died either. Could have persuaded her to quit smoking, at the very least. Wish I could go back. I get it. You're unhappy, you're angry, but that's alright. Many people will live unhappy circumstances and yet will not take the initiative to change the situation because they are conditioned to a life of security, conformity, and conservatism. All of which may appear to give one peace of mind, but in reality, is nothing more dangerous. All you need to do is change your horizon. You're telling me to run away? That's the key to enlightenment? No. Once I thought so, but I came to realize to have an endlessly changing horizon, for each day to have a different sun, you don't need to move around. Like Tolstoy said in Family Happiness, a quiet, secluded life in the country, with the possibility of being useful to people whom it is easy to do good, and who are not accustomed to have it done to them. Then work which one's hopes may be of some use, then rest, nature, books, music, love for one's neighbor. Such is my idea of happiness. And then, on top of that, you for a mate, and children perhaps. What more can the heart of man desire? Do you see? I must admit, it does appeal. But I'm afraid you may have been kept here under false pretenses. What do you mean? It's not enlightenment. This is my goal. It's not what I want. It's the start of a moral life. Now I have to get back to my wife. 